butter wings for the Easter weekend 2018. Um, just thought I'd show you through the lightweight camping setup that I've got. This is just a ripstop nylon impregnated with silicon to make it waterproof. Um, so this whole fly weighs about 400 grams with all the pegs and bits and pieces. Inside I've just got a quilt that I've made out of Primalock. Um, it's got a zip up tow box. That weighs about 800 grams. And I've sewn a closed cell foam pad into a ground sheet. Um, I think that weighs about 400 grams. My spare clothes and my pillow. Um, and I've got a pretty simple cook set, just a little gas stove, um, single pot. I usually use a piece of aluminium foil folded up to the lid. Four days worth of food, and I've got a little bum bag here with snake bandage, um, little bivy bag, um, sunscreen, knife, compass, bits and pieces I might need on me, and it all goes inside this backpack which I made for $15. Um, it's got 500 weight Cordura on the base and then just some simple nylon. I made it more than a decade ago for a trip to New Zealand. Um, I thought it would last me that trip, but it's been going ever since. And yeah, it all seems to work really well just to keep the weight down, which makes you a bit more comfortable when you're hiking and gives you a bit more energy at the end of the day. I'll show you next how it all packs together. My pack only weighs 200 grams so, and it hasn't really got any support at all in it. So what I do is I roll up my closed cell foam mat and use that on the outside to give it a bit of structure. And after that I've just got four main bits that go in. All my food, this is the heaviest, so it goes in first at the bottom. The next heaviest thing that I've got for all my clothes, and this is probably the only thing that really is definitely going to stay dry if it, there's a heavy downfall. Um, everything else can afford to get wet. Um, my tent's going to get wet anyway when I pitch it. Next is my tarp and night bits and pieces. water at the back and then the last thing just because it's easy to to compress into the top part is my quilt that just has one simple compression strap over the top and it doesn't have a waist strap so the system I've found that works best is when I've got all my emergency stuff in a bum bag and I'll use this just if I'm doing a quick side trip, leave my bag behind and that doubles as a bit of a, a waist support for the pack. So my base pack weight is about three and a half kilos so with all of my food and water it brings it up to about six or seven for a four day hike, it's pretty comfortable.